hi guys welcome back to my channel if you want to see how i achieve this look please keep watching so i've gone ahead to do my brows i'm just going to start with my eyeshadow i used my concealer as my eyeshadow base and i am using the morphe 200 brush to achieve this and you just want to make sure you blend really well um with this um look well with any look really you want to make sure you blend well and now i'm going to intensify the crease with that um color and i'm using the morphe 332 brush um this is just my makeup revolution palette and that's what i usually play around with and i'm just blending everything together i'm using the morphe 200 brush <laughs> to just blend it out and you know make it look good and I'm going into my sleek eyeshadow palette I'm going to list it in the description box I'm taking that black eyeshadow black eyeshadow and I'm, I'm using my M433 brush to put that all over my eyelid and just to blend it upwards let it blend with the crease and I'm going back and taking that um, second color I used in my inner crease and blending it together now I'm taking this color pop eyeshadow it's a really nice pigmented and um, blue eyeshadow it's called super shock and I'm using my hand to just apply that and put it in the, in the center of my eyelids it's kind of like a halo look so it's not um, too technical so to say and I'm just going back with that a brush I used. I don't I didn't touch any more black eyeshadow. I just you know put it in there. And now I'm using my um Maybelline Eye Studio um eyeliner and I'm just kind of winging it out. It came with a brush, even though I don't really like the brush, but I make it work. <laughs> so I'm just using that to Put that all over and now i'm going in with this color pop um cream gel liner in show me and i am just using the m 250s brush putting that all over and i'm kind of making sure that um the black still shows through like at the corners of my eye and the inner corner you could still see the black eyeliner so the gold is just kind of going in the middle so to say and i'm just putting that over and i'm just gonna put my lashes um put mascara over, all over my lashes before i apply my lashes i like putting my mascara before i put my lashes not after i put my lashes you know so that the false lashes still look still look good and you know they don't join with my natural <laughs> lash too much i just find it that it looks better in my opinion but some people do it after and now i am priming my face with this um benefit stay flawless 15 hour primer i've had this for i think two years <laughs> But I never really use it. And I was like, you know what? Let me try it out. And it wasn't bad at all. Probably will be using it more often. Especially on my eyebrows. And I'm going to use my NW58. MAC NW58 foundation. And I'm using my hand to apply that first. Before going in with my Kabuki brush. And I'm using the Morphe S94 to put that all over my face and 
now I'm going in with my <laughs> my real techniques beauty blender and I'm just blending it all together that way going with the brush first make sure the beauty blender doesn't you know take a lot of product now I'm going um, in with my concealer in chestnut I believe if not chestnut then it's toast I'm sorry guys I don't remember but they're kind of similar it's just that toast is a bit darker and I'm just using that all over to highlight my face um, underneath my eyes my chin I was kind of going for like an intense highlight that's why I'm taking it all over like that and now I'm going in with my Morphe E26 brush. I like to use this brush before going with the Beauty Blender just to let the concealer get in and spread it all over. And the brush it comes with two sides, so it's really nice if I want to get like the inner corners of my eye or like be more how technical, I would say, <laughs> or more precise, I would say. <laughs> Yeah, and then I'm going in with my beauty blender just to blend everything together. Now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I am just putting that in place. I like to use my beauty blender to put this my damp beauty blender between you guys should use a damp beauty blender not a dry beauty blender because it blends better <laughs> so yeah i'm just putting that all over the places i highlighted or places i used the concealer and now i'm just putting my nw58 powder all over my face with my morphe g36 brush that's the rest of the of the rest of my face that I did not highlight. Now I'm contouring using my Morphe M104 104 brush. I'm using my um, Sleek Cosmetics brow kit in extra dark, and I'm going in with the cream base first. Uh, that's the cream part of the eye eyebrow kit and then I'm going to set it with the powder base you know just because it's a cream product you want to always set your cream products and I'm just you know contouring and chiseling out my face like so and now I'm putting the powder part of the brow kit And now I'm just kind of cleaning out the contour. I don't like to use um, my concealer to clean it, so I just use the setting powder. It kind of gives it the same look, but yeah, with the concealer, I don't know. I don't really like that look. I haven't found a way to know how to do that. <laughs> so I'm using my M459 brush just to clean out the contour. And I'm just cleaning out um, the excess, taking off the excess um, uh, setting powder with my G2 brush, Morphe G2 brush. And I'm just taking off the excess. And now I'm, I'm doing an inner wing. I think that's what you call that. I'm sorry it's not so clear guys. Yeah, my phone. <laughs> Hopefully I get a camera soon. Yes, amen to that. But I'm just making an inner wing. I use my Sephora. Um, eyeshadow in classic line and I'm just kind of going to do like a really thick eyeliner using my Marc Jacobs um, gel crayon this was given to me by Sephora as a birthday gift oh yeah <laughs> but yeah it's really good I like it and I'm just putting um mascara my lower lash line 
lower lash line my lower lashes <laughs> I'm just cleaning out the contour and blending the contour and the you know the highlighted part or the high yeah the highlighted part together you don't want any harsh lines guys so you want to make sure everything is blended together and I'm just chiseling out my nose um, with the same contour, the same eyebrow kit I used to contour my face. Yeah, using my hand to blend that as well. I'm going in with this highlighter by Makeup London Revolution. I think it's Rock On World. And I'm just taking this Morphe M501 brush. I really like to apply my highlighter with this brush. Yeah, it's really nice. And then I'm going in with that shade. Um, I never thought to ever use that shade, but I was like, you know what? Let me try out something. And I really liked it. I used the Morphe 3, 310 brush. And it gave it a really nice pop. I used very little guys. I just kind of like tapped it. Yep. Highlighter was popping. And I'm just putting that on my nose. On the bridge of my nose. And my cupid's bow. I forgot to put put some highlighter on my brow bone I mean you don't have to do it all the time but you know if you wanted to then you should then I'm taking it this um, bronzer from Mac I forgot the name but oh I think it's refined golden it's not a blush but I didn't want to use a blush so I just decided to touch a little bit of that just to blend my contour and my highlighter and I'm just blending everything together before I um, put my setting spray and I'm using my Urban Decay setting spray, the oil control. And now I'm lining my lips with my Wet n Wild um, brow pencil in dark brown. I wanted to do like a bold lip with this look when I was, when I had it in mind but when I finished I was like I want the attention to be on the eyes so I just put that pencil all over my lips it served as my lipstick or whatever you call it and I just put that all over I wanted to go with something nude-ish now I'm going with my Victoria's Secret um, lip gloss I'm going to list it in the description and I'm just putting that all over and we're done guys So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, it's kind of like a really nice night out look. I was actually going out. <laughs> so that was why I changed my clothes. And yeah, I really like the look. I'm going to try and do something more dramatic again. So yeah, bye guys. See you in my next video.